MG continues to specialise in providing budget brand buyers access to full electrification at super affordable prices. Here's the company's second zero emissions model, the MG5 EV, a compact estate that offers a 214 mile driving range and a spacious cabin seemingly little compromised by this model's advanced battery tech. All for a reasonably conventional price. Exciting? Possibly not. Clever? Definitely. Another fresh MG model and it's not an SUV. The MG5 EV is electrified though, which is up to the minute, even if the genre of this car, a compact estate, is quite traditional. Basically, what's on offer here is an alternative to those compact SUV electric models that are now springing up, but at a much lower price and with more interior space. This MG5 is basically a Europeanized version of a model from MG's Chinese parent group, SAIC, the Ro EI5. Over 63,000 examples of that car have been sold to Chinese folks since it was launched in March 2018. So MG hopes that the auspices are good for the chances of this car establishing a little niche for itself in our market. It's a sign of the times that you can't have any sort of combustion engine in an MG5, not even a plug-in hybrid one. And it's a reflection of the needs of the European market that the single EV model we do get is quite a lot more powerful than the version that's offered to the Chinese. Output has been raised by 42 PS to 156 PS, and that reflects the fact that family folk here have been conditioned to expect their EVs to be quite quick. So this one gets to 62 miles an hour in just over eight seconds on the way to a rather un-EV-like top speed of 115 miles an hour. Those family folk will be expecting a reasonably long driving range too, hence the installation of a gutsy 52.2 kilowatt hour lithium ion battery, which is WLTP rated at 214 miles. As usual in a full EV, the battery is mounted centrally under the floor in a manner that gives a low center of gravity. This, to some extent, offsets the inevitable downsides of the EV powertrain's extra weight. Now, MG claims very similar handling characteristics to the conventionally fueled Chinese market model. MG already sells the market's most affordable family-sized EV contender, the ZS EV, but while that model won't be quite big enough for some families, this contender might well be. It's 4.54 metres long, which to give you some perspective is about 100 mil shorter than a Ford Focus Estate, although this MG's 2.6 metre wheelbase is only 43 mils shorter than the Ford's. Uh, this MG5 is 1.82 metres wide and 1.54 metres tall too. The exterior styling is restrained and conservative, although it's not particularly suggestive of a budget brand. Up front, the fit and finish is close to volume brand standards without feeling especially plush. Uh, this top exclusive spec variant, the one that most will want, enhances things with niceties like leather style upholstery and a panoramic sunroof. On the rear seat, that's ample headroom and legroom, even for taller occupants, and twin USB ports are provided along with the usual Isofix child seat fastenings. You'll want to know about boot space, uh, which is rated at 578 litres with the rear seats in place. That's about 200 litres more room than you get from an EV hatch like the Volkswagen ID3. Uh, fold the rear bench flat in this MG5, you can extend the storage space to 1456 litres. There are two trim levels, Base, Excite and Exclusive, with respective asking prices starting at around £24,500 for the Excite variant. That is after the government's £3,000 plug-in car grant has been deducted. Excite trim gets you 16-inch Meteor alloy wheels, a remote entry with push-button start, 
air conditioning, four electric windows, electrically adjustable mirrors, uh, smartphone compatibility. Uh, there's also an eight inch color touchscreen and a seven inch driver information display. Uh, there's cruise control, there's a leather steering wheel, a rotary gear selector, speed sensing locking, uh, three driving modes, rear parking sensors, and follow me home headlights, uh, as well as a seven year warranty. The top exclusive version adds leather style upholstery with heated front seats featuring six way electric adjustment for the driver. Plus at this level there's one shot electric rear windows, uh, silver roof rails, electrically adjustable folding heated mirrors, smart keyless entry with push button start and automatically dimming rear view mirror, rain sensing wipers and satellite navigation. Uh, safety features fitted across the range include mostly passive systems. There's not much in terms of camera driven tech. Uh, you do they get front side and curtain airbags, electronic brake assist, ABS with EBD, uh, twin ice fix points in the rear, a tyre pressure monitoring system, hill start assist and seatbelt warnings for the front and rear passengers. Earlier we mentioned this car's 214 mile WLTP rated driving range, that's 51 miles more than the ZS EV and that rises to 276 miles on the WLTP city cycle. Uh, you'll have to activate the KERS toggle switch which alters the level of regenerative braking and therefore energy harvesting and engage the provided eco mode to get anywhere near those figures in normal driving. We'd say 170 to 180 miles between charges would be more achievable. Charging an MG5 EV is straightforward thanks to its combined CCS and Type 2 port mounted within the front grille for easy access from either side of the car. Uh, the CCS plug is an enhanced version of the Type 2 plug with two additional power contacts for the purposes of quick charging and it supports AC and DC charging power. It features rapid charging capability. Uh, the car can charge from 0 to 80% in 50 minutes from a 50 kilowatt charging station, if you can find one. At home, the car can recharge itself using a standard seven kilowatt wall box in around eight and a half hours. Uh, that is two and a half hours longer than is needed by the ZS EV, but uh, overnight charging should still be easy. In emergencies, the car can also be charged via a standard three pin plug. Uh, the 52.2 kilowatt hour battery pack is managed by MG's intelligent battery temperature control system and it's insulated from external temperature variations so it can deliver the optimum power and range whatever the weather. Uh, as with all MG models, you also get one of the longest fully transferable warranties in the class. That's a seven year, 80,000 mile package and it's standard across the range. Rivals like Hyundai only provide five years of cover. Users will benefit from 0% benefit in kind tax during the 20 to 21 tax year or 1% in 21 to 22. Insurance is Group 32D. As MG sales grow, its model range widens. The brand's last family size model that wasn't a crossover was the MG6, a car that struggled to find any sort of sales traction at all in the UK market. This MG5 has much more to recommend it for sensible family folk wanting to take the plunge into full EV motoring. For the price of a planet polluting mid-range Focus or Astra Estate, you could have one of these, a car just as practical with zero tailpipe emissions and a model that you could run without ever having to visit a filling station again. Makes you think, doesn't it? <laughs>